Today is your lucky day, buddy. Play your cards right. And you're going home with a great story to tell the grandkids. You're about to meet a one-of-a-kind swine, the biggest, nastiest boar you'll ever see. The locals call him Hogzilla. This monster boar is usually milling around in dense cover this time of day. Finding him isn't going to be easy. Hogs have a keen sense of hearing and a nose like a hound dog. You'll need to keep a low profile, watch your step, and stay downwind at all times. You'll make a racket tromping through that brush, so try to move at the same time that boar does. Those giant pig feet will cover the noise of your own footsteps. You'll have to get close to pierce Hogzilla's hide with an arrow. Don't take a shot until the range is under 25 yards. Stay calm, pick a spot, and good luck. What is up everyone, Bo here from BZ Hub bringing you yet another pro hunt from Big Game Hunter Pro Hunts here. We have, who do we have today? Hogzilla. Here in the southeast corner of the United States in this game, we're going to be hunting with a recurve bow of all things. And we're going to have a 6,000 reward. Let's get into the video. Wow, under 25 yards here, oh, okay. Hogzilla's living room, but hold on a second. The wind's at your back right now. You go charging straight in, Hogzilla will be gone before you know it. Make sure the wind's in your favor before you go in after him. And that must be Hogzilla. We got quail flying in front of us here. Ooh, okay. Check your map to see your smell cone. Okay, I see the smell cone. This blue dot must be Hogzilla here. Quail flying in front of us. It is moving over to the southeast here. Let's move this way. Still see him there. Hogzilla. Ooh. I'm still a little thrown off by the weights of these pro hunt animals. <laughs> Even when I was uh, hunting out by myself, I found uh, over 900 pound wild boars. Okay, so he is green at the moment. Luckily, we're behind these rocks, so as long as he doesn't smell us, we should be okay. Do we have any blinds or anything? We do not have any blinds. This is going to be a little difficult. Let's, uh, let's start crouching here. How far away are we from him, him now? He is right there. 93 yards away. I'm gonna stick to these rocks here. This seems like a pretty good game plan. The circles are still green, so we're still looking pretty good as far as tracking goes. Finding us. Ooh. Can't see him now that he's in this red bush over here. Still 80 some yards away. Still at 60 yards, my goodness. 25 yards is going to be so close. Ooh, he is right there, and he's within 25 yards. Can we get him to turn broadside real quick so we can crouch and take the shot? Turn, bud. He is just within 25 yards. He's certainly got some tusks on him. <gasps> he's turned broadside. Oh, and he turned away. I honestly don't think he's within 25 yards anymore. He was just within 30 yards now. Oh my gosh. We had half a second to pull off that shot. He's 
still green though, but now he's in this dense brush again. This certainly isn't as scripted as the pincushion hunt, that is for sure. This one is more freeform, making our own decisions and at the same time taking longer. straight towards us. Oh boy. This is not good, everyone. <laughs> I don't know what to do! <laughs> oh. No penetration whatsoever. And he knocked us down. <laughs> Hogheads are thick. Okay. Well, certainly didn't go the way we were hoping for. Uh, let's try this again. We are stuck out in the open, everyone. Does look like he's within 25 yards, though. Oh gosh, here we go. <laughs> Get along. Get along. Oh, hit the shoulder blade. Keep going. Oh, hit the rim! No! Oh! And we're hit by Hogzilla again. Oh, Sucked right in front of that bush. 29 yards. It's turning yellow, though. Twenty-eight yards now. Three yards is all we need. <laughs> Not happy. That hoof is not changing. Oh man, he thinks something is up. Hardcore. Oh! Hunter Call of the Wild! Ah! <laughs> Gosh, dang it! Ah, we were even hiding next to a bush in the shade. Ooh, that hoof is turning orange. Oh, it's starting to turn yellow again. Oh, that's the racket red. he's making. You'd think he wouldn't mind a little noise. Natural noise, he doesn't mind. People noise, that's different. Is that it? He's out. Gosh darn it. You have spooked Hogzilla, so he ran away. Expert riding there. Oh my god, we're just within 25. Don't turn towards me, you dumbass. So fast. Stop moving. Stop, stop, stop. Oh my god. <laughs> I honestly don't think this is going to change. I think he's just going to stand there. Um, yep, I see you, bud. Take a low shot, see if we can get the heart. Doubt we can. Oh, we were close though, weren't we? That's not gonna. How about this one though? Yeah, don't get too far ahead of yourself. In the heart, heart, heart. No, no. 
You bastard. Oh my god. That was so close. I'm gonna need coffee for the rest of this. This is taking way too long. All right, I'm back with coffee. We're gonna take on Hogzilla yet again. Today. Yep, I hear ya. Yep, he's a tough one. He's in dense brush. He's got the wind going straight at him right now. And it's gonna take some patience. And it's now gonna there's take some Hogzilla's living steel. room, but hold on a second. Something I the really don't your have. Right now. You go six straight in, Hogzilla this. will be gone before you know it. Make sure the wind's in your favor before you go in after him. So we found that we can sprint a lot of this distance just to save some time. But when it comes to actually sneaking up on Hogzilla, that seems to be the tough part. Okay. Let's get a range here. That bush is 40 yards away. Probably not within 25 yards. I'm taking the shot though. We're probably within 30 yards. 23.4 yards. This is what I've been talking about. And we hit the stomach. Great. Now as long as he doesn't kill us from running into us. Freaking shots. We got him, though. This is what I've been talking about. His random I movement. I can already smell the barbecue. Wait she can smell go. the barbecue. What are you waiting for? Go claim your trophy. I'm not waiting for anything. I'm running straight towards him, you crazy lady. Oh, my gosh. This is what... So, I know that in the video, I will be skipping around like crazy. But just realize that I've taken 35 minutes. Six attempts trying to kill Hogzilla here. Look at those tusks, though. Craziness. And I just shot on a whim, feeling like, after six attempts, this must be 25 yards. Oh my gosh. I don't even care. I'm sorry about your stomach, Hogzilla. Six thousand three hundred dollars in the bag. And let's watch this end video here. You know, big old boar hunting's always a rush, especially when they charge. No penetration whatsoever. Oh, and we're hit by hogs. Oh, hunter call the wild. Ah, oh, bastard. Oh. It really gets that adrenaline pumping. Everybody sees those big tusks. And that's what they care about. But their meat is great eating, too. Back home, we call them Barbies. Because they barbecue up so well. <laughs> well, that about made me throw up in my mouth. But, yeah. I mean, yeah. We definitely know that they charge you. And, wow. Look at this. We have unlocked the northeast area here. The next leg of our tour takes us deep into the wilds of the American Northeast. This territory presents a different set of challenges for a hunter. The dense deciduous forest reduces visibility, while the broken terrain creates choke points and gullies. There are plenty of places to hide. Out here, sounds and smells are worth as much as a good pair of eyes. Wow, that looks pretty cool. We have unlocked caribou. Look like we saw some black tail, maybe. What are these? Hunt 4 0. Still white tail. That doesn't seem right, but okay. Well, I mean, still look like a lot of fun, and uh, that's gonna be up in our next 
episode. So, hey, thank you all for watching yet again. Hogzilla proved to be <laughs> a pain in the butt, but we got through it. And I thank you all for watching. Tune in to the next episode, everyone. See ya. Yeah.